Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with Design World Magazine. I'm here with Mike Walker from TI. And Mike is going to tell us a little bit about TI's DLP technology and one of the more interesting applications for it. Mike, I think the people who know about DLP equate it with projection TV and projection images, but that's not what they use it for here. Uh, tell us a little bit about how DLP actually works to get us started. Absolutely. Yeah, so if you're very familiar, as you mentioned, with uh, DLP, it's used in video display. At the core of that, there is a, a MIMS device that can move uh, photons at a very, very high rate. And our group basically takes those MIMS devices and repurposes it into non-projection type of applications. So this ranges from 3D printing to PCB lithography, uh, 3D uh, scanning and measurement. And then most recently, we just introduced a spectrometer that's based on this MIM technology. And um, basically the core interesting thing about that is that uh, we're creating the world's first very, very small spectrometer that goes in new spectroscopy infrared ranges that can never be achieved until now because of this MEMS technology. So the, uh, the MEMS device basically serves as a bunch of very, very, very tiny mirrors. That's right. Yeah, it's, it's uh, at the core of this, there's a very, very small MEMS device. Um, we have our whole portfolio over here that you can take a look at. Um, and what we did is took the smallest um, available device and uh, made an evaluation module. We're still uh, in the primary business of selling the two, the MIMS devices, um, but we, we purpose it into an evaluation module so that given it's a new architecture in a long-standing spectroscopy industry, then customers can take it and evaluate, and we're able to offer a higher level of performance than a traditional architecture because we put light into a single point detector that increases the performance over an array detector and typically it'll take an order of magnitude of cost out of the, a similar instrument. Great, That's interesting technology, Mike. Food is in the headlines right now, uh, particularly bad food and spoiled food. That's one of the applications <laughs> for the DLP technology. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. Yeah, so with spectroscopy that's been in the industry for a number of years, uh, applications that we've seen are uh, pharmaceutical medications, what, what people take into their body from a medication standpoint, skin care and health, as well as just looking at food. Um, and so in our, in our demo here, we show the fat content of chocolate. You can detect proteins, fats, sugar levels of, of various foods amongst various numbers of uh, constituents. And so we have a demo today that shows fat content in, in chocolate. And basically that's done with our evaluation module. Um, but what we do is, is work with uh, a set of worldwide design houses that actually instrument make instruments out of this. And our partner here, uh, KS Technologies, is demonstrating that today that this is a battery powered uh, spectrometer that basically allows you to put sensors throughout a big network Bluetooth it into your cell phone or go directly up through Wi-Fi and uh, leverage the Internet of Things to, to have sensing throughout, the, throughout a factory or throughout the world uh, to collect all the data into a centralized hub and then do the analytics on it. Um, and so KST in their demo basically has multiple uh, spectrometers that are doing constant scans. They developed a Bluetooth app that then Bluetooths that into a server and the server does all the analytics. Got kind of an interesting de demo behind us, Mike. Uh, why don't you take us through that? Absolutely. So the the demo behind us basically uh, allows you to take a chocolate um, and place it uh, on the on the window. We do a scan. Light is re is uh, broadcast onto the chocolate, and then the DLP spectrometer looks at the response. So every material in the world has a unique fingerprint from a spectral response standpoint, and this is a spectral response. And then basically through chemometrics, this is outputting that this particular chocolate is, a, is dark chocolate and it has 14 grams of, of uh, fat uh, contained into it. And as I mentioned, you can look at sugars, you can look at proteins and various aspects of food. Um, and then if you look at the KST uh, demo over here, again, they have four different uh, spectrometers. Basically, they took our module and they're putting it into a production system. Uh, and have integrated that with their software platform to do IoT uh, analysis. 
for, uh, for network devices, basically. Great. Well, interesting application, Mike. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate your time.